German war machine opened the Battle of Britain with an all-out assault on coastal shipping on the convoys that were keeping beleaguered England alive. For 10 days, they kept up this onslaught. The Nazis had swift Stuka dive bombers, but shore batteries took a heavy toll. In the first three years of the war, until the Allies took control of the air, 4,000 Allied ships were sunk. Early in September came the attacks on London itself. In the first raid, 400 German aircraft took part, raining bombs indiscriminately on the city. But nearly a quarter of them were shot down. Hitler's plan was to soften up the British for invasion. His Operation Sea Lion, cross-channel invasion, was then in preparation. It never went beyond the planning state. Londoners gave no thought to evacuating the city themselves, but they moved most of the children to safer areas in the country, and thousands of others were sent to the United States and Canada. Within 10 months, more than 50,000 bombs fell on London, and this doesn't take into account the thousands of incendiaries dropped in night raids. Germans turned to night raids when they were outclassed and outfought by a small band of Royal Air Force pilots. It was then that Winston Churchill added a footnote to history with his famous phrase, never have so many owed so much to so few. The period between September and November 1940 has been referred to as the Great Fire of London. On one night, 1,500 fires were started by German bombs. London took a pounding such as the world had never known. Nazi bombs could raise her buildings, but nothing could trample her spirit spirit perfectly exemplified by Prime Minister Churchill. All during London's great trial, he was constantly on the scene, encouraging the living, honoring the dead. 30,000 Londoners lost their lives, but never did they think of defeat. They took every Nazi bomb with calm courage and shook a fist in defiance. Theirs was the unquenchable spirit that triumphed over evil and sent Hitler down to defeat.